Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. Today we celebrate the German car make Audi. Exactly 110 years ago, April 25, 1910, the original company was founded. Now, however, Audi as we know it today, combined with the Four Rings logo, was introduced by Volkswagen on January 1, 1969, making it 50 years old last year, at the beginning of last year, in 2019. Either way you want to look at it, it's a good reason to look at some Audi cars. I've got about 80 here, so let's crack on. We start with the A1, this is a Majorette. Got suspension, opening doors, lens headlights, painted taillights. This was part of a holiday set. We got a premium cars release. Same features. Nice silver bow here on the roof. Here we got a 2019 premium cars version in green with a silver roof. And here's a racing cars version. Next up, we've got the Audi A2 by Welly. It's the only example of an Audi A2 I have. And then we got uh, the A4. I do not have any example of the A3, unfortunately. This is the first generation of the A4 by Welly. Got some logos in the back, but no tail lights. White interior, and we do get some uh, tempos in the front. Then we got the second generation as a station wagon or Avant by Siku. Rubber tires, got the ski box on top that opens up, lens headlights, and then a uh, bicycle rack in the back, lens stay lights, and a trailer hitch, and opening doors. And we got the third generation. This is a real toy, the 159 scale. So, get some logos in the back. Get uh, nicely tabled in the front and a nice interior as they all have. I also got a blue version. This one gets more details in the back. And then the convertible version by Siku. Rubber tires, authentic rims, lensed lights front and back, and a uh, nicely detailed interior. And we got generation 4 and the Avant version, again, Siku. The uh, opening doors. This is in a uh, German um, highway uh, assistance or roadside assistance, I sh should say. That's probably a better uh, word for it. Roadside assistance livery. And here we got one from a VIP set. All blacked out, black windows, blue light bar on top. And then we got the Audi A5. This is the Sportback version by RMZ City. So this is the Junior Collection version. So we got basic tempos, it's got uh, no interior. And then here we've got the more premium version of RMZ City. This one has the rubber tires, it got nicer rims, although they are not authentic. It's got more details in the back, as you can see, and also a nicer color blue. It's got the interior, and it's got more details in the front also. And also got a white version of that premium one. This is uh, kind of what the packaging looks like. So 
pretty much the same as the blue one just a different color then we got the coupe so this is the first generation by Majorat in black got some packaging wrap on top obviously from being too long in the blister so it's got opening doors and nicely detailed we got a gold anniversary version for the 50th anniversary of Majorat and then I got a uh, Kind of a uh, dark grey or gunmetal grey, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got the second generation as a uh, S5, so a little sportier version than the standard A5. It's got the new style of rims. Of course, they all have uh, suspension, these uh, majorettes. So you can see it's got the new nose compared to the old one but unfortunately on the back they kept the same taillights while the new the second gen has narrower or smaller taillights they did change the uh, exhaust though it's got double exhaust on each side instead of a single exhaust but they should just have made the taillights a little bit more narrow and then it would have been perfect and they would have gotten away with it but now uh, it's kind of not a hundred percent correct and I'll show you who did it correct and that is Hot Wheels this is an RS5 though so a little bit more sporty than the S5 but you can see in the front it's uh, very comparable it's a little different but then and the top here you get all metal on majorette where you get plastic here from uh, hot wheels that is often the case then you see in the back the um, hot wheels has much slimmer tail lights whereas the uh, majorette has the old one still so yeah now we go to the audi a6 this is the first generation based on the audi 100 so this is a Seco, a Avant, got the opening uh, hatch in the back, it's got lensed headlights, also got a taxi version from it. All my Audi A6s are Avants by the way, that was probably no surprise to some of you. Nice taxi sign on top. Then we've got the Matchbox version. This is the first release from 2006, Audi RS6 Avant. They made a bunch of blue ones, I think six of them. Uh, I've got about uh, three. So, 2004 model. Love these uh, license plates on them. For you to envy, this one says. Then 2007, got this one. Don't know what this license plate means, unfortunately. Then 2008, this uh, one has Dinky on the base, so that means it's a Stars of Cars special release. Also 2008, but a mainline release. Too fast for you on the license plate. Then I've got a 2010. I don't have all the mainline versions, unfortunately. Missing a red main mainline and another blue mainline. And then it came back in 2018 on the uh, wrong card. 
So it said 94 Audi Avant RS2 on the card. So that was not correct, obviously. And the picture on the card is showing one of those RS2s. So uh, the same color, but it's, uh, it's not the same card that is in the packaging. So I don't know what that was all about. If that was intentionally or not. But uh, yeah, kind of interesting. So it did get a post in the back, unfortunately. And the license plate says still too fast, which I think is awesome. And then 2019 blue version. Then we go to the third gen. This is a Kyosho. So very nicely detailed as we are used to from Kyosho. And then generation four. by Hot Wheels 2017 Audi RS6 Avant this one is not perfect it's got a little bit crooked uh, taillights in the back they're uh, too much to the right side of the vehicle the front it's pretty okay And then we also got a uh, recolor in blue. Then I got the Audi A8. This is my only example of an A8 by Mesto. This is a 2010 release. So, no interior, basic wheels, do get some uh, tempers in the front and in the back. So all in all, looks pretty good. Then we've got the uh, Q models. This is the Q3 by Welly. So we get the uh, in the back and in the front, nice grill. So got it in a metallic orange version. These rims seem to be. Uh, I only seen them on these Audis Q3. Not seen them on any of the other any other Welly vehicles. So that's kind of cool. And we got the Q7. This is a real toy in a toy store packaging. It's in 165 scale. So we get some uh, dark gray paint here on the rocker panel and the bottom part of the bumper. Get a license plate and a logo. And we get uh, lots of details in the front. And again, nicely detailed interior. Also have a black version of it. So, a little bit more detailed it seems. Or maybe it wasn't that visible on the red, red version. It's a Siku one. Pretty big. Casting so rubber tires, lights are lensed back and front. Nicely painted exhaust tips here, and of course, an opening part, doors in this case. And also got this one uh, from uh, it's a pullback car from some kind of Chinese company, maybe UCC, but I'm not sure. 
It does have rubber tires for the traction. Also has the uh, the grey painted part here at the uh, at the bottom. So it's a nicely detailed one. But no interior because of the pullback mechanism. Then we have the TT, the first generation. This is a Welly with the uh, old style wheels. There's uh, no tail lights, but it does get some emblems and no headlights, but it does get the grill. We got a more modern version with the spoiler. This one did not have the spoiler. So again, no tail lights, do get some emblems, a white interior, and do get the headlights and the grill. Same version, but with the Taillights painted and a black interior. So we got a white version. The same details. And we get to Matchbox. Version without spoiler. Suspension. Taillights and tampos in front. And blue. Suspension. Deco on all four sides. Got the four rings on the sides and then front and back too. Then we got the version with the spoiler. No more suspension. Do get an extra license plate. And then we got the convertible version with the spoiler with suspension, Matchbox logo on the license plate spot. And here I got one without suspension, it does get a license plate. And here's another one. Also no suspension. And here's a Maisto version in the uh, Toy Store packaging. 2016 version. This one has the spoiler. Roadster, yeah, that's maybe a better wor word than what I said. Convertible, no details in the back and just in the front. Then we've got the second generation of the TT. This is a, a real toy in 157 scale. So, got some emblems and then more details in the front. Here's the same one, but with some uh, funky tampos on it. Here's a silver version. This one looks pretty nice. And we got a Siku version. Rubber tires, lensed lights front and back, opening doors. Got the uh, exhaust tips painted. And then we've got the third generation by Welly. How the TT Coupe it is called. So, we got everything we need on the back. And some detail in the front. I like the uh, Separate insert for the grill. Nice. Then we go to the Audi R8. Most produced model, I think, because I've got the most of these. 
This is a um, Arms at City, again in a toy store packaging. Audi R8 V10 is it called on the base? Base, sorry. So no interior. Get some uh, taillights painted. And no headlights, unfortunately, on none of these. We do get the logo and the grill looks pretty okay. Is a red version, so get some more details here than the black one. But the black headlights painted is not very nice, I think. A white version. A silver version. And a premium version of that silver one. So we get rubber tires. We get nicer rims. Not authentic, but nicer than the uh, standard ones, I'd say. An interior with a nicely detailed engine. Even says V10 on it. Interior looks good too. Get uh, some more details on the back. And the uh, the junior collection version and then we get lensed headlights in the front which looks much better than the black painted ones and then I've got a welly right V10 Nice, uh, kind of a carbon look here. And we get to major it. So no tail lights, but it's a red one, so it didn't really bother. It's much nicer, nicer with the headlights painted. Here I got a, a wheel variation. This one does not have suspension, by the way. Here's one in blue, limited edition. No tail lights. That's a bummer. And a goofy. And here's another limited edition. And we got a Hot Wheels version. This one's metal on metal. 2007 Audi R8, it says. Box. This is a 2007 copyright on the card. They uh, released another one this year, also in this gunmetal grey. I don't know if it's exactly the same or not. I don't have the new one, so I can't compare it. Got one from a five pack in gold. And then we've got a few Shuko ones, metal on metal, rubber tires, authentic rims, the whole nine yards, lens lights front and back, detailed engine. Once we got it in red. And 
Liechtenstein in matte black with black authentic rims with a red ring around it and we got a Barago version production there's another Barago but in red and one in kind of a light blue color fourteen production got a Siku one and basically almost the same color and the Siku does have rubber tires we got well also it's got five spokes instead of six spokes got opening doors nicer details on the engine lens lights front and back similar but they each have their own accents here's another Siku from a uh, limited edition set and here's the only spider version of the first gen I have also a Siku. The uh, the flat part on the bottom of the steering wheel. That's nicely done. Steering wheel, I'd say. Then the second gen has a spider by Majorette. No suspension. It's got some new style rims. Got the more narrow tail lights. Here's a green version. And here's a uh, here's one with a glow in the dark interior. Red also did a uh, coupe version of the second gen. So if we compare it with the uh, first one, first going to look at it, well, I'll put them next to one another. Um, also has no suspension, the uh, second gen one, so you can see it's got lensed headlights, different grille, looks much more crisp. It's got bigger rims also because the uh, original one always got the small. The small wheels looks better on the bigger ones. Here you got the uh, a different fin here on the side. Again, uh, yeah, much nicer in the back too. Here we got the Hot Wheels version of the second generation Audi R8 LMS. So this is a premium version, so metal on metal, real riders, and full deco. And here's a uh, tarmac version of the second gen R8 V10 Plus. So plastic base, rubber tires, authentic rims. 
lensed lights front and back. And then the last two are kind of different. This is a Matchbox Audi Avis Quattro. No suspension, kind of a chrome color. Very shiny, but it's got no tampos whatsoever. And the last one is a Norev. Is the R18 so plastic base plastic tires but authentic rims and full deco with lensed headlights so that's it for this video I thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you again next time bye bye